Yes. All right. Now remember, Keith, we might be on at this very, very moment. So uh, folks, give us a shout out if you can hear us at this point. Where y'all? Are we? We there? I don't see us on yet. Ah, fetching stream. Hey, I think we're there because I see it on our screen. Are we actually early today? I think we're a minute early. Look what's that coming up here. Uh, good question. We're going to have to do a, a wait and see approach here. Take a wait and see attitude here that's at right. Smack and Jack. <laughs> that's right. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what we do here. All right. But I saw it on our, um, our feed here. If we go back here, there it is. Preview. Preview. So now we're down to zero. And why is it right. coming up? Ah, there we are. Hey! hey. Oh, yes. Came on right, right as planned. Yeah, it's right at 9.15. Like yes. Right at 9.15. Oh. Folks, we were early today. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? What time is it there, it is time. Uh, it is time for Smack and Jack Live once again from lovely Chester County, Pennsylvania. And we had a little bit of sun. Actually, it was sunnier before the show started, but... You know, we'll take any sun. Any sun we can get, yeah, we'll take. Indeed, we will. So uh, we got a great show for you again, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful Saturday. Grab your cup of coffee, sit back, uh, relax, and we'll, we'll, we will be right back. All right, here we go. One, the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacking Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joe Wenderman. Morning, folks. Morning, uh, Linda's on. Barbara's on. Good morning, Barbara. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Did you yeah. notice that live click track early? I did notice that. That was me. It was practically almost on the beat. It, almost. Well, <laughs> I, I pride myself for being almost on time. Oh. There you go. Almost All righty. Announcements, ladies and gentlemen. Another great show for you this morning. Yeah. What is going on? We got some announcements. Yep. So uh, let's see. Well, let's go through our our agenda, our agenda first, right, right. and then we will come back and do it in the order of which our agenda dictates to us. Right. We got <laughs> some announcements. We're going to do them in a second. Yep. Joke of the day, which always, always funny. A joke. Always funny. Always yep. funny. We got some trivia. Remember, we're going to do that. Do the trivia, and then we're going to come back for the answers a little bit later. Yep. So watch for that. Be ready to chime in with your thumbs, or or your this, or if you're really old school, get ready to type. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Remember that? Uh, we got something from Dad's Insurance from yep. a long time ago. It's neat to watch. And you get something from the back office. Um, is, is that, uh, I can't read, uh, Bruce, Bruce. Yeah, we're going to, we'll talk about that. Talk, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, facts of the day. Then we're going to come back to the trivia answers. And it, uh, we're going to finish up with a birthday minute. Yeah. Birthday minute. It's always great. Bunch it sounds of like we today. almost know what we're doing. Almost, you know. Today on this show. All right. But if you watch the earlier shows, the show that we were watching last week when we were on your porch, very rough, I gotta say. Uh, that's gotta the be pet couple... peeves one. Was that was a it... pet peeves? When we were sitting on the porch. Yeah. And... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very rough. That, well, a couple you know, of amateurs there. We have it looked we like have us, but we have blossomed. Yes, we have. have kind of like that element. show called Blossom. Uh, <laughs> all right. What's the announcements, Joel? Let's okay. To... So. Um, First announcement, next week we are planning not to have a show. Okay. Did you hear that correctly? We are planning not to have a show. Why, Keith? Well, because we're going to do a little bit of recording. We're going to do yeah. some, maybe some, a little bit of commercial things, a little bit of footage for the website, yeah. and uh, see if we can get some stuff lined up for that. Yeah, so we're we gonna... still have a, a lot of work to do for the webpage. Um, kind of like all the pictures that we did that are on the webpage. Right. Uh, we took a morning and we went out and did those photo uh, shoots. Unfortunately, with our schedule, your schedule, and my schedule, the only time that we have that works Saturday is morning. basically the Saturday, Saturday morning, morning time. from so, 8 to um, 10. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take some of that time to uh, do some recording, see if we can get some footage together to put on our website. And I'm hoping it's as hot next Saturday as it was when we did that. 
photos down at the park. Remember that? It was, yeah. It was about 98 degrees, 110 percent humidity. That was it. Was a it was a great nice day. good time. Good yeah, time. it was a good, good day time. for filming yeah. and picturing and all that time. Although I think we're going to be inside. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's wah, not 98 wah, degrees wah, in this room wah. when. Uh... <laughs> Okay. All right, what else? Uh, all right, so uh, Keith, I lost my notebook. You know that little uh, notebook? Yep, that we both had. I lost yep, one too. Yeah, I write stuff in and lost it. Man, I've been I've been kind of lost all week too. Without a little, yeah. You know, it's nice my... to just pull out and, and write down something you have. Yeah. A lot of people do that on phones. I don't know where to put the notepad or how to retrieve it after you write it. You in. know, I, I try to do it on the phone, but it's, um, man, it's just too cumbersome. It is. You know, you got to get to the app, and then you got to start typing, and, and my spelling's horrible anyway. Right. It always comes up with you know, the squiggly line or mm -hmm. something like that. Right. Where, you know, the little notepad, I just open up the page. Boom, you're done. And yeah, put it back in the pocket. Down, yeah. back in the pocket. Yeah, so I don't know where that, that pad went. And you lost yours, too. So yes. we'll, we'll have to get two new notepads. For next week. Uh, any any, any fans want to send stuff into the show here, uh, notepads. Yeah, notepads. Yeah. We need notepads. Yes. Well, All it right. sounds like the Harley Brigade is yes, going by. Yes, there is a... Uh, and they're going to be late because they're heading up to town. We have a live showing of um, of Smack and Jack this morning for all the bikers that, in the and area. And that's where they're headed. And that's yeah, where they're right. headed. Good. And there goes a police motor. Actually, I think yeah. it was back that way. They're going away from the show, actually. <laughs> oh, God, i got to have a talk with them. I have no <laughs> idea what Keith is talking about right now. Nothing All I did was mention the Harley Brigade going yes. by. And I, okay, here. so uh, the Lost Notebook. Okay, wanted to... Uh, uh, before we get to our jokes, I had a little video clip of Les Brown. This is a video out of the back of the 4% office. This is one of the free videos. I was watching it this morning. I watched one last night, um, and I was watching a little bit of this one this morning. Les Brown is, is uh, a well-sought-after uh, um, uh, speaker. Uh, of course, I can't think of the word right now. Uh, uh, motivational Motivational speaker. speaker. Uh, thank you. You can't and, get motivated uh, if you can't come up with a word. That's right. You need to have, have that word. Okay, so this is a this couple seconds of Les Brown. Here we go. Speaking to you, that you have some big goals and dreams, and that's important. Having goals beyond your comfort zone is important. I don't know you, but here's what I know about you. You have something special. You have greatness in you. I don't know you, but when you have goals beyond your comfort zone, that will bring something out of you. In order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. Okay, and we'll stop it right there. That, as I said, that's just a brief little, I love that. In order to become, I can't even remember what you just said. Something great, you got to get out of your comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, you got to be out of your comfort zone to become somebody different. You yes. got to be somebody you've yep. never been, right? Yep. I, Taking it, so basically yeah. taking a chance, you know, it's yep, it's a lot easier to uh, stay with the status quo in life, you know. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, it's man, it is very easy to stay, with and, status and it's quo very hard not to. Zone. Yep, it yes. is really hard, and I think there's probably different personality types mm -hmm. that it's easier to get out of your comfort yep. comfort zone. For me, I live almost my entire life in my comfort zone mm -hmm. you know uh, that's something i haven't done before yeah i, I don't know about that new, yeah you know, you know? so just uh, anyway if we hadn't you know smacking jack we how many lives would be empty well uh, so, yeah hey jim's on uh well looks like there'd be three empty lives right <laughs> now but you know Nice. That's that's uh, you know if we can help anybody we can we yeah. we've done our job. Yeah. So let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to send the link to that video. That's a, another free video out of the four percent back office area. Good idea. You just watch that. It's that what that video is about an hour and hour and a half I think. Okay. Um, but really really good guy. You know, uh, watching that stuff is uplifting too. Yeah. You know it makes you feel it's like yeah you can really do anything if you put your mind to it. You can yeah. Do you really do have to re be reminded of success stories over and over mm -hmm. and over again because it's easy to get just back into your comfort zone yes. and just kind of think yep. oh, you know status quo so listening to these stories uh listening to people like him who have been through the trenches you know he starts out with how his mom you know his mom left him somehow and he was adopted by somebody else okay and then his adoptive mom uh, you know he had seven siblings that she adopted um and you know it's just a, kind of a, a great mix, success yeah, story. Yeah. You know? So, okay, the other thing we wanted to bring to your attention, um, this is incredibly important. Um, today yes. is um, Oktoberfest. It started today. Yeah, can we get a round of applause? So, the first kegs were open today. In Germany, 
And let's see, Munich, Oktoberfest, the first kegs are open today. And it goes, uh, I love the hours here. So beer serving hours open uh, today, 12 to 10.30. Weekdays, 10 a.m. to 10.30. Um, Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 10.30, which is just fantastic. That's great. <laughs> 10.30 on the dot. You can't what get those, 11. What are those people doing on this? Yeah, uh, well, I think uh, they're taking a week month. off. <clears throat> well, and then it goes to October 6th, which okay. is kind of odd because I thought Oktoberfest, especially in Germany, would run until... In October. Uh, it would be in actually October, in October. Yes, start, but, yes, but, yeah. So it starts on starts today, September 22nd. It runs all the way to uh, October 6th. So well, you're, you're someday Germany, I'm going to yeah, do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, boy, I know. just those crazy that is a mugs of... Beer and the yeah. bratwurst and the just, pretzels. Just the and whole experience. Yeah. Of being there and, yep. and just, it's got to be a, an, an incredible time. And Lederhosen. <laughs> Is that uh, Lederhosen? Lederhosen? Yes, yes. Uh, that would, something I'll never wear. All right, well, Ever. you never know. You never know. Uh, we got to bring up, once yeah, again, the uh, stickers. Yeah, don't stickers. forget we have stickers, folks. We have stickers and we have magnets. Stickers bigger than the magnet. Magnet's great go anywhere. I'm borrowing a car off my dear friend Themis, and I keep forgetting to put this on there. But it's going to be on there. And the thing about it is when you give back something to somebody, you can forget that you put this on. And it stays there. Yeah, yeah and they can take it off if they want. It's, yep. it's no damage to the... Uh, yep. But this is going to find its way onto Themis's car. So if you want one of them, let us know. We'll send it out to you, both or either one. Yeah. And and should the the people like this the magnet that you leave on the car... Uh, they know exactly where to go to get more. Yes, they do. Smackinjack.com. Uh, right, because it's. Uh, I think if you just put that into a web search, it comes up with uh, yeah. our website. Well, if you put in smackinjack.com, it comes right up. Yep, yep. yep. Okay, great. Moving on. I think to it is the time for the jokes. Joke of the day. Joke of the day. I know this is why people tune in. <laughs> yes. Because you want to hear our fantastic jokes. You want to broaden your repertoire. Uh for dinner time. Yes. <laughs> you want to be the star of the party. So we're giving you all that material right up front here. All right. Here we go. Joke number one. You ready over there, Keith? Uh, well, your, I, I couldn't be more ready. Your drumstickles and stuff. All right. Joke one. What did the alien say to the tabby cat? What? Take me to your litter. Ho ho! <laughs> Starting out at the all bottom right. again, ladies and gentlemen. What did the alien say to the eggs? What? Take me to your beater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why are we doing the aliens today? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, it's just the page uh, the opens here, right? The theme is yeah. uh, developing. All right. What did the astronaut think of the takeoff? What? She thought it was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one here, folks. How come aliens don't drown in hot chocolate? Why? They sit on the Mars Mallows. Mars Mallows. Well, you know, I hate, I hate to do it. Yeah. Well, that was good. That was good. Very good. Very Don't good. blame it on us, folks. Very it's good. Not our it's not Only our Only one book and we got it. We okay. got suckered into buying that book. That is great. All right. Okay. Moving so right, right along. What do we got? Uh, something about pops and shows? Well, we're going to do our trivia first. Oh, our trivia. I'm yeah, sorry. So I thought we already get did ready. trivia. Get ready for your, your trivia fingers and your answers. These are some good trivia questions today. Okay. And then we'll uh, go on and talk about a little bit about Dad's insurance. Yep. And we'll do facts, facts of the day. We'll come back to the trivia answers. Okay. okay? So give All me right. time to... So, trivia. Let's make sure my music's not too loud. There we go. All right. Trivia question number one. Which U.S. state has the motto, live free or die, on their license plate? Mm. I think I might know that one. I might know that, too. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Foie gras? Fragua. Frog Fragua. 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 Awesome, dude. Foie gras. Yeah, Is a French delicacy made from the liver of what animal? Oh, I know that one, and wow. it's delicious. And this should be a capital F for anybody who's uh, looking at that. All right. What 1985 to 1992 sitcom earned Emmy Awards for its four stars? All women over the age of 50. Oh, I, I, think I, I know, might what know what that, that is. One. I know what that is. A Boeing 777 is equipped with how many engines? Hmm, interesting. 777. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What was the name of the cowboy store, Rory Rogers' Palomino Horse? What was the name of the cowboy store, Rory Rogers' Palomino Horse? I can hardly read that one. In which national park would you find the guys are known as Old Faithful? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what U.S. agency's motto is fidelity? 
bravery, integrity. I'm going to take a wild guess on that one. Yeah. How many teams are in the American National Football League? Now, this is a recap from last week. Okay. If you're watching right. last week, we should have an answer for that one. All right, real quick. U.S. State, uh, live free or die on license plate? No, no, you're Yeah, okay. mine's still gone. Um, how do you say this? Foigas? Fragua. 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 <laughs> it's a French delicacy. Fragua. Fragua. Made from the liver of what animal? <clears throat> what 1985-92 sitcom or Emmy Awards for its four stars? All women over the age of 50. Is mine still? Yeah. yeah cool. I, I, mine always seems to... What was the name of Cowboy star Roy Rogers' Palomino Horse? What national park would you find the guys are known as Old Faithful? The U.S. agency motto, Fidelity, Bravery, Integrity. And how many teams are in the National American Football League? Or in the okay. American National Football League. All right, so we'll come back to that. All right, let's do some facts. All right. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Um, all right, there we go. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, facts. Catalina has declared independence four times in Catalonia. history. Catalonia. Catalonia. In history since 1641. Now, you know what? When I read that last night, I thought, I instantly thought California. <laughs> I did the same thing. California That is so weird. strange. Yes. That's why that took me by surprise. Because yes. I, I hardly looked at the word. I just saw it said, mm -hmm. thought it said California. I do that all <laughs> the time. And I thought, wow, that was weird. Okay. In 2016, a 90-year-old woman filled out a crossword that turned out to be $116,000 artwork, $116, artwork in a German museum. Wow. So... I guess that was a piece of art, and she... Yeah. Uh, Let's oh, move on. Yeah. Let's move on. Mm. On a typical day along U.S.-Mexican border, U.S. Customs uh, or customs and Border Protection sees an average of 7,910 pounds of drugs. Wow. That is phenomenal. The Palace of Parliament in Romania is the world's largest administrative building. The cost of heating and electric lighting alone exceeds $6 million per year, as much as the cost for a medium-sized city. Wow. That's crazy. Western Union didn't stop sending telegrams until 2006. That's also amazing. That is pretty amazing. Dolphins. Stop. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> All right, so. Telegram. Uh, dolphins go on killing sprees when they're sexually frustrated. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. Is that dolphins or humans? <laughs> a traditional beer tap will not work on an airplane as it will only disperse a huge amount of foam. Wow, wow. that would be very unfortunate, Atmosphere. right? Yeah, okay. More than half of the Earth's surface is not subject to any nation's laws. We okay. should go live where there's no laws. Yeah, it's, it's the water. Iceland has more volcanoes than professional soccer players. They only have two soccer players. Nah, just joking, I don't know. In 2015, President Obama made it legal for Americans to own asteroids. Well, isn't that just fantastic? Yes. That's got to be one of those... Uh, he got everything done in his administration. That's right. Like, Man, what else can I do? I, That's I right. come up with something. I got a few extra minutes here. Yeah. What can I do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln only had a beard for the last five years of his life. How about oh, that? Okay. Every picture you see, most yes. mostly has he has a beard. Uh, that I put this one in just because of that picture. Look at his teeth. Yeah. Adolf Hitler was the first European leader to ban human zoos. Now that is interesting. Wow. I'm gonna have to look up what a human zoo. I would have thought he would be the first one to start to start a human, a zoo. human zoo. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Crazy. No Researchers tried um, two thousand <laughs> times to ignite gasoline with a cigarette and failed. So you uh. figured after like fifty times they'd stop. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Croissants are not a French food. They are Austrian. Wow. Yeah, okay. How about that? Makes sense. It's more stressful to be a waiter than a neurosurgeon. A study found. Interesting study. Don't know if study I it conducted or not. by waiters. How do you say that exactly? How, how do you say that word? Uh, Marissa. Marissa. Yeah. Greenland yeah. had a population of three in 2009. A case of self-defense dropped the population to two. Wow, <laughs> that's ridiculous. The first dinosaur to be named was called Scrotum humanum because. Of the found bones resemblance to a pair of human testicles. Nice. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Weird. Awesome, Joel. We needed to know that. On Thank surveys, you. happiness follows a generalized U-shape over the course of people's life, with high degrees of happiness in their late teens and early 20s, and from there down until the 50s, then going up again. 
So you're happy in the 20s and then after the 50s. And in between there, you're... After not... the 50s, I got a couple more years. And yeah, I'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll be... All right, last one. After his very first performance, Elvis Presley's manager, Jimmy Denny, said, you ain't, got... you ain't going nowhere, son. You ought to go back to driving a truck. Wow. Yeah, so you nice. know what? That kind of goes back to... Um, it kind of goes back to what Les Brown was saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, don't yeah. let anybody else tell you. Talk you out of you, you know, your dream. Yes, you, you that follow is right. your dream. Hey, Beth Son. Good morning, Beth. What's going on at Wisconsin? Say Yay. hi, to everybody. All right. Um, okay. So where are we now, uh, folks? Well, we like... just did the facts of the day. Are we ready for the trivia questions? Did we? Did, did we talk anything about that? We did not. No, we skipped right over do, dad's yeah. insurance. That was like one of the big things I wanted yes, to do today. Right. Okay. So before we get back to the trivia answers, all right. So the reason why. Um, as, as you know, uh, Pop-Pop Monk, our dad, passed away uh, over two weeks ago now. Um, and now's the time to start going through insurance papers, this paper, bank accounts, this, that, and other Legal documents, yeah. Yeah, we, we got a lot of that done prior to. And, and of course, uh, again, I can't stress enough that selling the house and taking care of that four years ago. Four years ago was, was definitely a good idea. was huge. It's a good um, idea for your parents, and it's a good idea for yeah. us on this side. Yeah. So, so here is... The Prudential Insurance Company of America. This is an insurance policy that, um, let me see if I can get out there, that Dad's mom took out on him. Okay, so the date of the issuance is July 6, 1942. July 6, 1942. Down here it says, uh, name of insured, Farron Sharpless Lenderman. Insuring age, he was 13 at the time. So we, we... Doing the math, he was 12 or 13, some, yeah. somewhere there. Face amount of insurance at death was or is $115. Right. <laughs> okay. Not $115,000, $115. Right? Uh, name of the beneficiary, Leola D. Lenderman. Grandma. Right. So that was grandma, and I believe she died, I think, in 1949 or somewhere back there. Okay. Well, 20 years or more before I was born. Okay. Yeah. But but her name is still as beneficiary, nice. which yeah. brings me to a point. Um, check up on beneficiaries. This you know our the, the 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 advisors and so forth say this all the time. Check your beneficiaries every year to make sure you're up to date on everything. You know a lot of people get divorced, but mm-hmm. on their paperwork, their beneficiaries are still their former spouse. Right. Mm-hmm. And when something happens, that There's former a spouse big mess. is entitled to whatever the beneficiary yes. is. Yep. Okay. So uh, double check on that. Now this one was never updated. This one's not going to be too big of an issue. Number one, it's one hundred fifteen dollars, right? Number two, um, they're going to send me forms, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll fill out that that passed away and death certificate and all that stuff. But um, so anyway, I just found this kind of interesting. So and we what have, was the weekly? It was yeah, paid weekly. Weekly amount was five cents, five cents a week. <laughs> what did a stamp in an envelope cost back then? Uh, probably. Uh, I don't think they. I, I don't think they had direct deposit back then. I don't think so. Wow. I don't think so. That's so something. So uh, finding a, a, a few of these and and uh, and Deb, when you watch, I got one that says David at the top too. So I'm gonna have to send you send you that uh, policy. So this one um, is still in effect. It was paid up. Uh, the lady said it is. It still has value. Okay. So I'm assuming it has 115 dollars or you know whatever. Now, Dad had created a newer one in 1980, uh, and that one has absolutely no value at all. So I threw that away. You know, we have this paperwork, uh, so I have to check up on it and, because I have to get rid of things. Mm-hmm, you right. know, I can't hold on to everything. No, every piece forever. of paper. So no. I'm, you know, I'm following up on this. It, it has value, so I'll hold on to it. There's another one, uh, there's another one that Dad has uh, that his mom took out, I think, but it's under a different insurance company name. So I, I don't even recognize that name, so now i got to track that down, see what company bought them out or what their new name is or something. Um, it might be another $50. <laughs> yeah, something. there are these websites that you can go on to see. You know, you put your name in and it's uh, mm-hmm. money owed to you. That's what these things are. You know, people take out yeah, insurance right. policies generations yeah. previous, and they that money's still owed. It's just that... There's no way for them to find you, and it's hard for you to find them. So. Yeah, nobody's claiming it, you know. Yeah. And that's exactly you know, 115 bucks. Yeah. M- many people just say I'm not worried about right. that, but not me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, you know, like again going back to the fact that we don't have to worry about the house. Right. You know, I have. We can worry about these smaller details mm-hmm. now, and yep. 
you know, and, and not be too concerned about other things. Okay, so uh, I, I just thought I'd, I'd bring that yeah, up. Yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, check your check your beneficiaries. You know, that's that's Updater. major. Yeah, yes. update your beneficiaries. Okay, so can now we get back to the trivia answers? Yes, I think it's uh, okay. Yep. We're gonna do trivia answers, then we're off to the birthday minute. So okay, so. Trivia. Everybody, get your thinking caps here. on. Yeah. I think Linda's got an answer first. Well, I, I'm hoping they had their thinking caps on earlier mm -hmm. there, Keith. All right. Which U.S. state has the motto, live free or die, on their license plate? Anybody get this one yet? Uh, oh, oh, I Barbara see a, has it. Vermont? I was going to say New Hampshire. Let's see what it says. Yay! Oh! I got one right. <laughs> that is my first one. Right, New Hampshire. I knew it was New England awesome. somewhere. But. And I did not, I did not look at the answers before, folks. Okay, how do you say this? Fragua is a French delicacy made from the liver of what animal? Uh, I'm gonna say duck, Linda. Here we go. Yeah. Duck or goose? Whoa. Yeah, bravo, <laughs> bravo. I see. I uh, I've never heard got the that goose one. Part. Linda got yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. Yay, duck or goose? Fantastic. All right, moving on here. What uh, 85 to 92 sitcom earned Emmy Awards for its four stars, all women over the age of 50? Oh, uh, I, what do you say? Well, I only know this because it was my favorite show back in the day. Uh, Maude Adams, is that was her name? No, she was she was one handsome looking uh, woman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Golden Girls. I'm I was going to go say with. Golden Girls too, so I agree with you there. Let's see, Golden hey, Girls. Maude Adams, that doesn't yeah. sound right. You got anyway, right. the 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 actor something. Right. Talk. Yeah. You got it right, dude. The handsome looking one. You got it right. Oh, Woo! wow, man. <laughs> You're like really going off there. <laughs> a Boeing 777 is equipped with how many engines? This I really do not know, but I'm thinking, um, can, is it possible for them to have three engines on each wing? Possible. And then one on the back? So that would make it seven, right? Seven. Man, that's awfully. Uh, that, I, it's either I, seven or five. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's find out. Two. Two. What? Whoa! How Man, embarrassing! They are gigantic engines. I, well, holy yeah. cow! Wow, is seven 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 bigger than a seven forty seven? I think they. I thought is, they are. Yeah. Right? Okay. Wow. We are we are shamed. Wow. What was the name of the cowboy store star? Roy Rogers's Palomino horse. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wanted to go back to yeah, the. Yeah, Barbara's got trigger. Uh, did Barbara get two on that? Okay, I thought I saw somebody with two. Or that. Okay. Um, Let's see what the answer is. Trigger. Trigger. Originally Ooh. named Golden Cloud. Wow. Golden Cloud. Golden Cloud. Golden Cloud. Right. In what national park would you find the guys are known as Old Faithful? Now, this one I cannot think. Let's see if somebody see, else. Did somebody else get this one? Yellowstone or. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, hey, Jeannie. Um, who else here? All right. Hey, let's Jean. see. I don't see anybody with an answer there. Let's find out wh what this one is. Yellowstone! Oh, that was right. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yay for I, me! I was going with Yellowstone, but I couldn't obviously think of it. What U.S. agency motto is fidelity, bravery, integrity? I'm going to go out on a limb. It's not going to be the U.S. presidency. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that one. <laughs> the Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI. FBI yeah, Barbara got that correct, yeah. actually. Yep. I, I, was, you, I was going to say FBI myself. All right, how many teams are in the National American Football League? Or so American National Football League? 32, is that what you said? I think we're going to say. 32. Answer is 32. Whoa, I can't believe I remember that. We can actually uh, yeah. remember things. <laughs> All right. Good job, folks. Yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Thanks for uh Yeah, thanks for in. chiming in there. Uh, all right. Yeah, so Gene I think that brings us yep. to um, that brings us to our birthday minute. Okay. Birthday uh, minute. Yeah. Birthday yeah, minute. and then we're gonna yeah. they're gonna sign out, man. Okay. All right. So pretty, pretty smooth show so yeah, far. Let's all right. go on to the birthday minute here. Here we go. And now it's time for the Smackin' Jack Birthday Minute! Birthday Minute! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Frogwa! That's what they sound like right before they go into oh, the mincer. Oh, man. Boy, Mike, right. we Let's need see. to get some more sound straight. props here. Oh, okay. Goodness. What do we got going Birthday on over there, Keith? And names well, we got that we some, don't know. We got some uh, celebrity birthdays. Scott Bayo. Scott Anybody Bayo. know who Scott Bayo is? Uh, Chachi from Happy Days. Uh, he was born this day in 1961. Yeah, Chachi. He was young back in, uh, when that show was yeah. on. So probably age appropriate. Uh, Joan Jett. 
good old fashioned rock and roller, Joan mm -hmm. Jett from Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, from the Runaways, previous to that, teenage uh, band back in the 70s, born this day, 1958. Uh, Andrea, Andre Puccelli was actually born this day ah, in 1958 as well. Okay. So they're both contemporaries. They went yeah. different ways went in different their music. Ways. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, David Coverdale. Anybody remember White Snake? Remember White Snake? Uh, uh, yeah. Da -da. I can't remember the song. They played every day on. Uh... Anyway, he was born this day, 1951. Uh, By the Tom... way, that sounded like the beginning of just about every song back in that era. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, the, the hair band uh, days. Yes. Uh, Tommy Lasorda. Uh, Brad, if you're watching, which you're not, who is Tommy Lasorda uh, baseball? What did you say? The Dodgers? I said Dodgers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, born this day, 1927. Uh, Philip Strath. Can we go back to Tommy Lasorda? Right, okay, let's, yeah, let's go. Back um, to somebody remind somebody. Just make sure uh, he was Dodgers, right? I, I believe he was with the Dodgers Tommy for Dodgers, most of his career. And we don't. And, uh, is, is he, he still, still with us? us? Yes. Or has he passed on? Uh, There's just, a, just, just let a us side know, trivia. Yes, uh, that's yes. that's a little bit of research we yeah. could not find ourselves doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Stranhope, uh, the fourth Earl of Chesterfield. Now that's something good for you. Born in 19, uh, 1694. Now, I don't know why that wow. came up, but uh, yeah. fourth, four, I can't even say it. Fourth Earl of Chesterfield. So, wow. a little bit of English history. For We're you. going way back. Uh, way, well, way back. You know, he, he's not watching the show anymore, but uh, his descendants are. Yeah. So Okay, yeah. what else okay, have we got closer to the home there, Let's get on to the birthday Joel. minute of our friends right here on Facebook. All right, so starting today, Saturday, the, September 22nd, we have AJ. Happy birthday, hey, AJ. AJ, happy birthday. Now, tomorrow's a big day. I almost forgot to mention that tomorrow happens to be my anniversary. Oh, yes, yeah. right. Tomorrow's my anniversary, Ooh, September anniversary. 23rd. And, and Louise's birthday. Louise, yeah. Grandma Louise's birthday. Oh, how can we forget that one? All right, so happy birthday, Mom. All right, um, tomorrow the 23rd, uh, we go with Kathy, Mary, Rich, Steve, and Sue. Happy birthday, guys. Big day tomorrow for a birthday. All right, Monday the 24th, we have... Jennifer, Monday the 24th. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Tuesday the 25th, Joe and Stephanie. Happy birthday, guys. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Now, yeah. Wednesday is a loaded day for birthdays. We have Eddie, Kathleen, Kevin, Mike, Mike, and Stacy. Happy birthday, Happy guys. Birthday, on Wednesday. Big day on Wednesday. Thursday the 27th, we have Chris, Lauren, and Lisa. Yeah. Happy birthday, guys. And on Friday, we have John, Seth, and Madison. Yay. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So just something to know here, uh, which is interesting. <laughs> Chris and Chris and Lauren uh, are colleagues of mine in the school district. Okay. And they met in the school district, and they are married. Okay. And they nice. both share the same birthday. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. So big day for them. Neato. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic okay. uh, right, yes, birthday yes. this week. As we get ourselves out of the birthday minute! Birthday minute! Birthday minute! Birthday minute! Okay. I gotta say, I just love our music. The, the it, music it is. is great. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. I think it's, it's really good. It's you, right you know, to get all those people together to, to, to produce something, you know, mm -hmm. the, the sound, you know, Good. I don't know how you did it, but you did a good, good job. Good recording, yep, you know, yep. individual mm -hmm. rehearsals, yes. et cetera, et cetera. Time yeah. and time yep. and time and time. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yep, yep. All right. Uh, okay, so I guess that's about it, Keith and folks. Thank you. We're just about at our half hour mark. As we, uh, uh, Who's like born in Norristown? Is that Tommy Lasorda? Um, oh, how about that? Is that Tommy? Tommy Lasorda? Oh, L.A. Dodgers, yep. Uh, oh, he's not, uh, what's to say? He passed away in 1991. I think that's what okay. she's saying. Uh, born in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, now we know. All right, thanks. All right, this... 91. Yes, yes, that, that is right. Yeah. All right, wow. thank you, Jeannie. Happy anniversary. Yay, thanks. thanks. That's uh, that's going to be anniversary number 18. Wow. Yeah, see, we got yeah, we got married that's, that's in uh, 2000. So it's easy to... Uh, I remember the, that the day. It was pretty cool down there at Lenape Park. It was hanging a, it out. Was a good uh, day, yeah, yeah, that was really, really cool. Good idea. Yeah, so. it was a little, uh, a little bit of misty, of course. Yeah, well, <laughs> all day yeah. long, but it didn't rain. Yep. You know, just kind of like under the, and, and people were out doing Food everything. Food and beer, and uh, it was great. It, it was, was a so great good. picnic yes, party. Yes. Yeah, just the way we wanted it. So uh, maybe on your twentieth, we'll do. It. We should. You should do it again because I'll go. Yeah. All, all right. right. Yeah. 
I'll keep that in mind for the 20th. You got two years. You can't do yeah. it this year. It's, you, I'm sure you're busy. So anyway, okay. All right. Very well, good. Well, I folks. think we're about done here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, had a great. Now we're not going to be around. We won't be around next, next week because we ha we actually have to do some work. Yeah, I gonna, say this almost every single week that we right. need to do some work, and we think um, we're going to do so, it midweek, but we never yeah, do. So we're going to take well, we're next week off. Yeah, and we're going to do a little bit of uh, you know back back office kind of stuff, right? And uh, production, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks. And remember, uh, are we ready here? About ready yeah. to go, Joel? Uh, uh, remember, if you uh, if you wanted the link for that Les Brown video, let me know. I'll send it to you. It's, yes. it, to watch watch that whole thing in its entirety is uh, definitely well worth it. So okay. If you're seeing me want stickers, let us know. We're going to mount to you. And uh, remember, you have a, deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you next time. All right. Folks. Thanks, Thank guys. You. See you later.